Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Lukas and I'm a software engineer for the Ubuntu Foundations team at Canonical. Today I'd like to present how we recently integrated OVS into Ubuntu's network configuration tool, netplan.io. I'd like to start my presentation with a brief introduction to the NetPlan open source project, then give an explanation about how we integrated it with OpenVSwitch, and finally present some examples of how the two are currently used together. So, what is NetPlan.io? NetPlan is an active open source project driven by Canonical, heavily used in the Ubuntu cloud and server products. It is licensed under GPL3 and written mainly in C and Python code by more than 45 contributors who also maintain an extensive unit and integration test suite. The code and project hosting can be found via the links below. NetPlan is a utility to easily configure networking on a Linux system. You simply create a YAML description of the required network interfaces and what each should be configured to do. From this description, NetPlan will generate all the necessary configuration for your chosen backend renderer tool, which can be Systemd NetworkD, Network Manager, or OpenVSwitch. Knowing what NetPlan is all about, how does it utilize OpenVSwitch? We introduced a few OpenVSwitch specific keywords into the descriptive NetPlan YAML format to allow the definition of common networking setups such as bridges, bonds, VLANs and more on top of OVS instead of using the Linux kernel's network management. It works in a way that NetPlan parses a YAML config and detects the relevant sections of for OVS. After that, it generates systemd service units executing different OVS VSCTL commands later during boot to set up the OVS DP in the requested state. We're making use of systemd's dependency tracking, for example, the wait for physical network interfaces cards, network interfaces to be up or handle interdependencies between bridges, bonds or VLANs. By using the may exist parameter, we're making sure that the generated service units will be idempotent and can be re-executed many times, for example, by applying it during runtime or by rebooting a system. Also, we made sure that this NetPlan integration plays nicely with other OVS integrations and it does not demand exclusive control over the OVS DB. Instead, it tags all interfaces and settings created by NetPlan in order to be able to clean up after itself. Here, we have a simple NetPlan YAML configuration defining two physical NICs, one bond called OVS bond and a bridge called OVS BR. OVS bond and OVS bridge will automatically be set up in OVS, as the bond defines some open vSwitch specific configuration and OVS bridge uses that bond as an interface. So, NetPlan will make OVS consume the two physical interfaces and generate two systemd service units to set up the bridge and the bond in OVSDB. After NetPlan ran during very early boot, systemd service units like this one will have been generated. Those will execute the OVS VSCTL commands to create the OVS BR interface, bond together the two physical interfaces as OVS bond, and set some given parameters such as LACP to active. In the last two lines we can see how NetPlan is tagging its settings and interfaces and the interfaces it created in OVSDB by using the external IDs column. This way the settings and virtual interfaces can be automatically cleaned up by NetPlan if not needed anymore or removed from the YAML config. More complex setups are certainly possible as well, as can be seen from the YAML example in the background. Next, I'd like to show how this integration between OpenVSwitch and NetPlan is being used today. There are several use cases, 
especially at the intersection of multiple projects where NetPlan and OVS are used to unify the network configuration. Some projects involved are CloudInit, for example, which is used to set up new cloud instances, uses NetPlan's YAML format to describe how the networking is being structured on a VM, container or machine. MAS is a tool used to provision bare metal machines in data centers. It is able to set up OVS networking via NetPlan, which can then be used by all applications running on that machine. Workloads spinning up multiple containers, such as or for example via LXD, can make use of separating the traffic of all containers into individual VLANs as described by NetPlan YAML. And of course, it can be used for big OpenStack deployments as well. Here, it is especially interesting to use a simple physical setup by having only a single bond or NIC on the server and defining all other networking on top of it via software. That way, services such as the OpenStack API or Ceph, traditionally using host-level VLANs, can be combined on the same bond or NIC as OpenStack's network management tool Neutron, relying on Open vSwitch bridges. Also, the management traffic such as SSH or package updates can be separated from the traffic of individual guest VMs or containers while still running on a single NIC bond setup. To summarize, the integration of NetPlan and Open vSwitch allows to unify all network configuration into a simple descriptive YAML file while having OVS handle all the complex networking needs on top of it. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm now happy to answer any of your questions.